Police caught the woman they say murdered her boyfriend's young son in Greenville yesterday. Brooke Craig was arrested this morning after a chase from McKinney to Frisco. She faces several charges, including capital murder and evading arrest. According to police, Craig fired at a car, hitting seven year old Caden Green and barely missing his father and two young siblings. Fox 4's Alex Boyer has the latest from Greenville. Alex. After interviewing several witnesses, Natalie Greenville police believe that the couple had two separate arguments yesterday. It was at that second argument that it appears uh, that little Caden's uh, father, Cameron Castillo, was trying to remove himself uh, from the situation and leave the home when the girlfriend fired that shot into the car that killed him. The next time we know we hear this, this tragedy. But he was a great little kid, man. He, he played jump all the time. Donny Trailer is reflecting on the very short life of his great nephew, Caden Green. The seven year old boy, seen here in pictures shared by the family, was shot and killed inside his father's car Thursday afternoon. Greenville police say the woman who pulled the trigger is 26 year old Brooke Craig. She's dating Caden's father, 24 year old Cameron Castillo. As far as what happened and what transpired, no child should have been involved in that. No child should be gone. Today. Greenville police say Castillo came to a home located on Pickett Street Thursday afternoon and got into an argument with Craig. He left the house, got into his car, along with Caden and his two other children. As he was driving away, police say Craig came out of the home and fired a shot into Castillo's car, striking Caden in the chest. Castillo stopped. A witness drove Caden to Hunt Regional Medical Center, where he died a short time later. Caden's mother got the devastating news at work. She is lost. She is lost. She is lost. Following the shooting, Craig and Castillo were nowhere to be found, so Greenville police put out an alert for their vehicle. McKinney police officers spotted the car leaving a Walgreens around 3.30 Friday morning. The couple fled and drove through several neighborhoods before ending up in a dead-end street in Frisco. After backing into a police cruiser, the couple was arrested. Evelyn Jones is Cameron's cousin. She spent the day throwing out his furniture. She's furious over the way he handled the situation. You should have drove her. You and made a mistake if it was accidental or not. You should have drove her butt to the police station and, and explained to authorities what it was. Enough. And I can tell you tempers were flaring at the home this morning when we were talking to the family. Uh, Craig faces uh, several charges, including capital murder and drug paraphernalia. Castillo uh, was arrested on a parole violation, and I'm told that additional charges could be filed. Now, as I mentioned in the story, there were two other children inside of Castillo's vehicle at the time of the shooting. They have been placed temporarily in CPS custody. Caden was a second grader at Crockett Elementary School.